This is a scary one today, guys. This one. You guys got to watch out for this. This is uh, becoming more and more common, right? You get a lot of these blue markets, blue areas that get this radical woke agenda and and they're just going after landlord after landlord after landlord, right? It's it becomes, you know, like part of their identity. It's like a vendetta, okay? And this is really scary. We got a city out of New York targeting landlords with a public list. They're really uh, trying to name and shame landlords now. Let's talk about it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Like I said, this is scary, okay? And I'm not even, like, necessarily against everything behind what is happening. Uh, but just the way they're going about it and the vendetta... And the ulterior motives, the political motives behind it are scary. And they're coming after us, man. They're coming after me. They're coming after you, right? There was a time, okay, there was a time in America where Americans were like, oh, are you a commie? Are you a commie? We're going after commies, right, after World War II. But now it's like kind of the opposite, right? They're going after landlords. And it's scary. Okay, so this city... Uh, Elmira, for those of you who've never heard of Elmira, it's in New York, okay? Shocker, right? Like, you know, New York, bad juju for landlords. New Jersey, bad juju for landlords. California, the worst offender. Uh, you know, like, you got to watch out. Oregon, oh, oh, I mean, Portland's in Oregon. Oh, you know what I'm saying? These are places with a vendetta, okay? So this city. Elmira, they released this landlord code violations list in a fight against blight, okay? Now, essentially what they're doing is they're publicly publishing and pushing this stuff out there, right? They're publishing it in articles and everything, and they're naming and shaming landlords who have building code violations. Now, before all the Wokies start blasting the keyword lock, fix your property, slumlords. I'm with you. I get it. Hey, whoa, hey, hey. I'm not advocating that we go out there as landlords and, and do not maintain our properties to a reasonable level. I am not saying that, so don't put words in my mouth. Trust me, I say a lot of things that will offend you. You don't have to make up things to get offended by, right? I'm not saying that uh, landlords should, should be able to skate scot-free and, and, and not do that, right? You can't just let your property go into disrepair. But what I have a problem with is the agenda, the unfair way in which landlords are targeted in these types of locations, and, and just the way the city goes about doing it, right? And, like, are these all really going to be valid code violations? Maybe, maybe not, right? So, like, if this city, if Elmira was like, yo, here's the list of every property owner who has a violation on their property, fine, that's fair game. Could be a landlord, could be somebody that lives there. Either way, you know, you look at the property, you see a violation, boom, that person makes a list. Okay, fine. We got to all maintain our properties, right? It is illegal to not let your properties or to, you know, have your properties have these violations, right? Like there's a standard that by law you got to keep your property at. If we all have the same standard, seems seems like fair game to me, right? But that's not what's happening, right? They're targeting specifically landlords, right? And I've done a lot of business in cities where you could see a house just falling apart, just destroyed, decaying. Uh, but if it's owner-occupied, it's all good, whatever. But if a, a landlord were to purchase that, everything gets cited, right? You see properties that landlords have. I know I've personally dealt with it where my property is in pristine condition compared to, like, a neighboring property that's owner-occupied. Like, the whole thing could be falling apart, but, like, I have a crack in my concrete, and they'll make me, like, replace a whole driveway. I've seen it. I've seen cities go after landlords like that. I know you guys have, too. And I feel like that's what's happening here, right? They're not really trying to improve the quality of their city. They're not trying to improve the safety of their city, folks. This is a typical radical left-wing blue government who's got an anti-landlord bone to pick, and they are targeting landlords and, 
At this point, they're trying to publicly name and shame them. I don't like it. I don't know for a fact, but I'd have, I think I'd be pretty, pretty far, pretty, pretty far to the truth, pretty on the right track if I were to say that I bet you those city inspectors uh, in Elmira, New York, that issue these building code violations, I bet you a lot of money that those city inspectors have other uh, higher-ups in the government in their ear having them specifically target and go after rental property owners because this city has made it clear the current administration does not like landlords. They hate landlords and they want to abolish them. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.